guys and we are back with more Star Ocean 6 where I already left off. There wasn't too much I could do off camera because all of our big heavy makers are not with us. <laughs> I.e. Albert and, and Lay. So uh, I, I couldn't really do anything even if I wanted to. Um, there is some interesting stuff to be had though. Dragon Ball Z ass music, bro. Like, it's tripping me out. Like, I wish I knew what the instrument is that they use. Because it's so distinctive. Like, it has its, its own little distinct sound, you know? But, um. Yeah, there wasn't gonna be anything I could do much. Oh, yeah, we did talk to her. Meals on this ship sure are fancy. We've been eating nothing but field rations forever. I can't tell you how good this is. Oh, the coffee here tastes just like what we have in the Federation. Oh, where are these beans from? I don't know why I thought I saw a triangle on that machine. They wanted me to go here? That's crazy. I had no idea Virgoldian ships were so cozy. Guess nothing beats that at home feel, huh? I ain't got a desk in there, but... And a TV. <laughs> That's crazy. Is she talking about my, uh, cell? I just might hit it. Not bad. Not bad. 
Not bad. <sighs> now this could go. Got the same layout as the Edis, so I might as well just take my usual room. It's down the hall on the other side of this one. Sorry. About time for a rest. an incoming transmission. Please report to the bridge. Leticia and everyone must be ready now. Better head to the bridge and answer their call. Hmm? Leticia, you ready to roll on your end? Ray, well, well we have assembled everyone. All right, I'll initiate the transfer. Get somewhere you won't be seen. Hey, Antonio, I want you to meet my friends. Let's go welcome the princess and the others in the transfer chamber. Damn. Apart from Welcome to my <laughs> humble abode, your highness. Ray, this is your ship? Not so different from the Tyrannus, huh? But it is so different. There are so many lights. Uh, right. Well, this ship is up and running, I guess. Antonio, I give you Princess Leticia. I am Leticia Austerius. Thank you, once again. A pleasure, Princess. I'm Antonio. Raymond? You've been traveling wow. with such a stunning beauty this whole time. <laughs> oh. So. <laughs> All right, everyone. Let's make for the bridge. So. <laughs> off soon. I'm telling you, Ray, Ray is tripping. I beat his. I would have missed that sure ass up. See that? There's your planet, Leticia. Aster Four. That is. Our planet? Our mm -hmm. world? To think all of our struggles have taken place in such a minuscule space makes me right. feel insignificant. Yes, but it is so very right. beautiful. <laughs> Just kidding. Right then, I suppose we'd best get going. Elena, Chloe, <laughs> Miss Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> so he said that. I'll, uh, do my best. That nigga said Miss Kenny. Chloe, get us out of orbit. Keep thrusters at one fourth power. 
Exiting orbital trajectory. Thrusters at one fourth power. We have exited orbit. Now entering conventional space. All systems green. Right then. I guess our first priority is to chase that ship carrying Boldor and the other. I hope you're not intending to engage them. The Aldous will stand a chance. Oh, yes. What's that? Uh, here. This is from Lola. It is a record of the battle between the Scorpion battleship and the Akizuka mm -hmm. and the Tyrannus. She hopes Skip it. Much appreciated. Okay, let's get this analyzed quick. I have no intention of taking them head on. All right. If we compile this data first, we might at least be able to figure out where the hell that battleship is headed. Under normal circumstances, it would likely be their homeworld. It may be safe to assume they are returning there. No such location that would correspond with the concept of a homeworld exists within Scorpion. Is that... Scorpion is a collective of life that forms a network which spans <laughs> the galaxy. With enormous spaceships traveling between artificial colonies and space stations. Well, couldn't those be considered their home planet? No. In this particular instance, all the bases and ships are also part of the overall Scorpion life. That is correct. Hmm. So, you got any idea which one of these massive life forms they might be headed to then? The man known as Gaston contained many factors that differ from the current state of the Scorpion. Thus, the accuracy of any predictions we make will be low. Hey, hey, okay. Are you really telling me we don't have any leads right out of the gate? I mean, can't we use our long-range sensors to pick up their trail? Yeah, they're already way out of range of our sensors. Ah, <sighs> for crying out loud. Huh? Why should I always be doing that? I'll take it easy. <laughs> sensors picking something up. It might even be them. Chloe? No. Bro, please don't let it be that big person, bro. I really think it's gonna be him. A federation ship. They may be coming to apprehend Bayuri and I. All right, it doesn't look like they're heading for Aster. Hmm. It's that Bennett guy. Try to make contact. Hmm. Unlike the Astoria, they are making no effort to conceal themselves. At this distance, the Aldis should be able to outrun them as well. Not so sure about this. Chances are they picked up our signal already. It'd be more risky to just sit around and do nothing. Ant, patch a signal through open comms. I swear it's gonna be that Bennett person. Communication. Connection established. Putting them on screen. Mm. This is Captain Raymond Lawrence, aboard the Vergoldian transport vessel Aldus. State your name and affiliation. This is the Pan Galactic Federation battle cruiser, Bella Golf. And I am its captain, Curtis Aldrich. I never expected to meet a member of the Lawrence family in the middle of nowhere like this. It's an honor. Permit me to skip the formality, Curtis. What brings you out to this middle of nowhere? We're on route to our destination and in a hurry. Mm -hmm. Though I'm not about to share any more than that with the captain of an anti-federation Vergoldian ship. Understandable. So I suppose it's just a coincidence that you happen to be heading in the same direction as the Scorpion ship that we <coughs> happen to be tracking? You... how do you know of the Scorpion? We just recently engaged a Scorpion vessel which had entered the Aster system. We've since determined the ship was crewed by soldiers from the Federated planet of Veer. Captain Raymond, I think it may be best we exchange information. I should like to make contact with your ship. Oh. I must decline. You see, I was on board another ship, the Yetus, when it was taken out by an unlawful attack from a Federation battle cruiser oh. not too long ago. Are you referring to the Astoria? I hear it was illicitly cloaked and attacked without warning. <laughs> oh. Well, if you know about that, then I assume the Astoria must already be hung out to dry. Actually, they're currently on the run. What? 
The Federation's most advanced ship has gone rogue? Our ship, on the other hand, is in no such state. Transmit our logs to for gold if you like. We have nothing to hide. We make for the site of an emergency mission. Though, at present, we could use all the information on the Scorpion that we can get. Fine. Send us a rendezvous point. We'll give you an estimated time of arrival once we figure it out on our end. Much appreciated. Wishing you a safe voyage. <laughs> out. <laughs> out. Coordinates for the rendezvous point received. Our ETA is 10 hours, 57 minutes. Ray? Uh, no. Captain. I was, I was about to say that too. I can trust him. I agree. We may gain some valuable information this way. Uh, you should be more worried right. about getting <laughs> We have no reason to trust them, or think that they have our best interests at heart. Arrested. Oh, yes. I suppose you're right. But either way, we still have 11 hours until we know for sure. All right, everyone. Let's take breaks and shifts. Um, and... Uh, <coughs> what of us? Right. <clears throat> Allow me this opportunity to give you all a tour of the ship. Raymond may be the captain now, but the Aldis is still my ship after all. Uh, understood. You have my thanks, <laughs> Sir Antonio. Wonder what Antonio has everyone up to. Sectors. Mario, like, she locked in. Ray. Hey, did my brother behave Ray. on your tour? Antonio is much more of a Damn. gentleman than you. Oh, <laughs> thank you! <laughs> so, what do you think of the Aldis? How should I put it? It's incredible! Uh, every last bit of it! Nothing short of incredible! Every aspect of life here is like another world. No, no, another dimension. It's all so astounding. I don't know where <laughs> to go. Let me say this. Preventing him from wandering off whenever I look elsewhere is proving quite a difficult task. And I really ask who she is, like her voice actually. She was Primrose. But it is quite thrilling to think and she was Laura. Experience what was her name is Laura in real life. She was Laura in uh, Evil Dead. Glad to hear it. You're welcome to wander and check everything out at your leisure. Any questions, feel free to ask Antonio or myself. On that note, Chloe? Yes, Captain. If you hear a voice come out of that, do what it asks, okay? Yes, understood. We've prepared rooms for each of you in the living quarters. Rest up as much as you can until we rendezvous with the... Investigated Captain Curtis Aldridge. The record of his career suggests that he is quite a seasoned veteran. Your family must be one of the great houses of this Sea of Stars. Still, it beggars belief that you of all people could come from such a distinguished Sir. lineage. What are you trying to say? Leticia and the others the ropes of how things work out here in space, right? All the fancy trappings of her life seem to have thrown Leticia and her friends for a loop. I'm sure they'll get the swing of things soon enough. Cargo address to Veer. 
We've lost contact with Veer Prime, so we'll probably have to dispose of it as undeliverable. Lola's from the same planet. Could I give it to her to take? It's so tough not being able to go home. So please. It's so tough not being able to go home. I'm glad I took a look at the map. I know it was a no show. Shoot, my bad. He refused, citing the lack of laborers and post-war affairs. I got his auto. The need for negotiation with the Empire and assisting Lola with the Tyrannus. He asked that I worry not of home and to instead focus on my journey to the stars. Huh, understandable. Tough position. But I'm sure working for the betterment of the kingdom will help him feel better, right? I think so too. We need to find out what Boldor is up to. Not just for Osirius and Vale, but for Theo as well. Agreed. I wonder what Marielle's up to. She was up on the bridge last I saw her. Full of items new to the eye. <laughs> he's, <still good. laughs> he's loving this. That's why he said he wanted to go. He wanted to like um go with us. Midas was poking around a moment ago. He didn't break anything, did he? Simply say the word, and I shall clap some. Bro, she into that freaking shit. I know. You just look at her and tell. Taking the crash course, I see. Uh, there's so much to learn. I'd like to at least get a little more familiar with the all this before we meet up with the Vela Gulf, so that I may be of some use if the situation turns bad. Don't push yourself too hard. You must be plenty tired as it is. I can't allow myself to be tired. I don't want this to be a repeat of the Edis. I have a duty to protect the all this as a soldier of the Federation. I feel you, but. Getting proper rest also falls under your responsibilities as an Aldis crew member. So take it easy. Captain's orders. <laughs> I'll do my best. I think. There's still so much Marielle and I both don't seem to know about this entire situation. It might be a good idea to see what Duma can tell me. Anticia and everyone should be in the common area. Hey, you're leaving us again. Hmm. I would like to know why you came aboard the Edis, Duma. We were dispatched to assess the integration suitability of Virgoldians. What? The? So the shippers we were dealing with were Scorpium? <clears throat> Affirmative. But the client sure seemed like a human, from what I could tell at least. The Scorpion Collective oh. takes many forms. Some may appear entirely cybernetic, others as cyborgs or androids. There are also those who are entirely organic oh. in nature. Ah, great. It is freaking horrifying to know that we handled unknown cargo That's from crazy. unknown clients. So you're saying that if I succeeded in delivering you all of Virgold, great. It is freaking horrifying to know that we handled unknown cargo That's from crazy. unknown clients. So you're saying that if I succeeded in delivering you all of Virgold would be Scorpium by now? Horrifying is an unfairly emotional evaluation. Integration with Scorpium is. <laughs> I don't care what you think. All right. Based on what we've seen and heard about it. That's how I feel. Put the shades on it. Deal with it. We cannot yeah. make that statement. If Scorpion is truly acting in violation of our principles, it would be in defiance of our very existence itself. Are you confused? Do you even get confused? 
We cannot deny this possibility. There is a need for us to learn the truth of these events in order to carry out our mission successfully. We shall cooperate as much as possible when necessary. Oh, I'll see to it that you shall. Don't worry about that. After all, you're different from the other Duma, aren't you? Five minutes to rendezvous point. Ray, the Vela Gulf is hailing us. Put him on screen. Right on schedule, I see. I'll be on board shortly for that information exchange we mentioned. You serious? A sign of good faith from us. After we rendezvous, we'll warp out for one minute. After the transfer, we'll immediately warp back in. Maintain your course. I've just sent the data. Data received. Ah, looks to me like there's only one person in the transfer chamber. I'm not exactly thrilled about their terms, but it seems we've got no choice. Understood. Maintaining course and confirming that of the Vela Gulf. Transfer will commence within one minute of exiting warp. Once Captain Curtis is aboard, we shall adopt a parallel course to the Vela Gulf. Captain's coming aboard. Uh, guess it's up to me to bid him welcome. Mariel, Leticia, come on with me. I'm not too savvy when it comes to the etiquette. Man, it just makes me think about asking every time. Yeah, all you gotta do is stand there. If there's three of us, it should deter Curtis from trying any funny stuff. Very well. Gotta admit, Captain, I wasn't expecting you to come alone. It'll be easier for us to talk like this. Let's make this quick. The Vela Gulf is currently on route with the Manuk system. Captain, this emergency you mentioned. Are you Lieutenant Mariel L. Kenny? There's a warrant Damn. for your arrest, you know. I am aware of that and ready. We can explain all that and more in this intel exchange. First things first, though, can I offer you a cup of freshly brewed Terran coffee? Mm. Don't mind if I do. Goodness. To think such a thing took place in the Aster system. So, what is it that has you rushing off to the Manuk system? Manuk is currently under siege oh. by a large oh, fleet of one of those things? Ships. Headquarters interprets it as mm. a scale invasion. Ridiculous. How is it impossible? I've been wondering about this. A Duma, I presume. A Duma, I presume. Right. You know about Duma? We've been gathering information on our end as well. The Duma are the ones proselytizing the Scorpion's integration ideology, correct? Affirmative. Scorpion is a being that seeks to evolve <laughs> as a life form. Aggressive incursions are nothing more than an act that limits our evolutionary choices. You know, it seemed the Scorpion are no monolithic entity. The faction currently attacking the Manuk system are known as the Centralists. Centralists? Ray, do you think? Yep, Centralists. That's the name Boldor mentioned on the Tyrannus. The entirety of Scorpion is composed of individuals linked without partiality. A central being cannot exist within our system. And yet Manuk is under siege by Scorpium calling themselves Centralists. How did Headquarters come by this intel? You know, Captain, it hasn't been that long since I left the Astoria, yet there seems to be too <clears throat> much new information. That's observation. Uh, there must be some connection between the Scorpium and the Federation higher-ups. Fleet Headquarters, specifically. Your assumption is correct. A significant number of fleet all have broken off from the chain of command. Most of them were in contact at some point with the Scorpium on the planet of Veer. Headquarters decided to launch a rescue effort in the Manuk system. 
It's unclear who's friend and who's foe within HQ, however. We may even be following that Benny guy. And even if that is the it could case, be that Benny guy. Just abandon them, huh? Captain Curtis, the Aldous is in possession of Scorpion data compiled by a soldier who escaped from Veer. We are currently pursuing the Scorpion ship that came to Aster 4. I'd like you to analyze that data and identify the ship in question once we reach the Manuk system. This is invaluable intel. We're in your debt. Yeah, no worries. Just reimburse me for the Yidis once this is all over and we'll be square. I'll see what I can do. Damn, he said I can see. I'll see what I can do. That's just what's up. I didn't think it was going to get that far. Thank you for your time. I'll get back in contact as soon as we've identified the ship that you're after. We've exited warp. Commencing transfer. Please be careful. You as well. Location. ETA to the Manuk system is 25 hours. Exactly six hours behind the Vela Gulf. Are you? Don't sweat about what he said. The larger an organization, the easier it is to corrupt. Captain, please don't make light of it. Even a single ship deviating from the chain of command is cause for alarm. If all of these ships are under the influence of Scorpium, then the risk to the entire galaxy is very real. I too find something Speak on strange it, girl. about all this. What do you mean? Little uh -huh. Duma's reaction. I also felt that what Captain Curtis told us did not line up correctly right. with what we heard from Lola. She stated that the Scorpium invading her home were acting in such a way as to avoid detection. I did not get the impression that it was attacked outright in the same way as this Manuk location is being attacked now. I think Lola's hunch may be right about Scorpium having infiltrated the Federation undetected. But isn't Duma also a part of Scorpium? It must be hiding something. Little Duma always remains silent when they wish to be deceptive. When they do speak, it is generally free of falsehood. This is why their assertion that Scorpium does not invade must be true. Right, Duma? Correct. Duma's the only link we have to understanding the Scorpium. We analyzed the data from the Tyrannus, but we still have almost no idea of who or what the Scorpium are. We won't learn much of anything until we confront them ourselves. As I discussed with Captain Curtis, it's most likely that the Scorpium faction attacking Manuk are in cahoots with the ship Boldor is on. The Vela Gulf has kindly agreed to help us track it down. I have detected other unidentified ships also approaching the Manuk system, where the Scorpium battleship is heading. However, support from the Federation is still far away. The Vela Gulf, Aldis, and Manuk fleet will have to handle this alone. So what you are implying is that it will be a difficult battle. That is correct. What will you do if Boldor is aboard that ship, and we find ourselves forced into combat with it? All I can say is that we should be ready for anything, even if it means taking them out. It would seem war is much the same here in the stars as it is in our world. Yep, you got that right. Which is exactly why I want you all to rest up before we reach the combat zone. I better go. All right. Too. So it looks like we're gonna go ahead and end it, the episode out here. It's been some pretty beefy uh, sections of the game. Not gonna lie. Still cyber. Arrest warranted now. Understood. 
I believe I was oh. right. We've got Maria. a lot of fresh faces around here. I better set a good example. So Captain Bennett wasn't acting alone. That's what I think it is, Captain Bennett. The Federation. I think it's him. He might be. Uh, he might be with us. He might. He might be a scorp like just a scorpion person in disguise. Cause she said that one of them could be organic entirely. You know what I mean? And I'm thinking that if anybody, if it could be anybody, it would be him. Cause like he was acting weird, bro. Like n nothing he did made sense. He just opened fire on a ship. Like why would you do that? And then Mario, of course, being the being the voice of reason of the ship, was like. Why would you fire on them? And then he just sends Mario away. Nah, it's got to be him. I don't see it being anybody else. Something is up with him, and I can't wait till they tell us. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you enjoyed this as much as I did, leave a like, a comment, you know, all that cool YouTube stuff, and leave in the comments who you think may be um, injected with Scorpion. I mean, um, there might be multiple answers, but I hope you guys enjoyed this, but until then, I'll catch you guys later for more Star Ocean 6.